I've done a bit of practice and I've got a brand new pair of shoes on. Give you sort of like a, a first impressions as to what I think about these shoes wearing them for the first time. So if you cannot see, they are the Puma Avant. So they're the brand new Avant, 99 pounds, loads of hype, loads of love on social media. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see really what the first impressions of them are like. First impression, putting them on, they feel very, very comfortable. I could probably half size down in them, uh, which we're gonna see how we go. If I pick up another pair of these, I might try and get them in a uh, in a slightly smaller size, but uh, see how we get on. Man, it's one evening, beautiful. Shoes wise, straight away, first few swings. There's a, there is a lot of room in the toe box of these shoes for me. It's really different, like, they're really different from anything sort of Puma have done. Everything that Puma have done recently, they tend to be really shallow in the uh, in the toe box. These, these are actually pretty roomy in the toe box, which is bizarre. Like, a few of the, um, the Puma shoes of late, I've gone up to like a size 10, size 10 and a half, like the RS, RSG, RSX. Like I've always gone bigger. Um, and now these are like a size nine and a half, which is what I am in Nike, which is kind of foot joy, I'm a size nine. But these are a nine and a half. And yeah, they just feel like I've got quite a bit of room in there. Like I, have, I can't be a nine in these and then like a 10 in a different pair of Puma shoes. That is a, that's a bit, that's a bit ridiculous. So guys, let me tell you a little bit about the shoe itself. And do you know what? There's a lot to talk about, which is a surprise with the shoe being 99 pounds. But let me talk to you a little bit about uh, what we've got. I've got my phone here. I've got Puma's website up and I'm gonna read you through a little bit about the shoe. So we've got full grain leather upper, one year waterproof warranty, Again, we, you have to bear in mind with the shoe, it's 99 pounds. And for that, there has to be some drawbacks. So far, I'm not seeing a load. Uh, you've got textured collar lining, which is uh, providing comfort around sort of the inside of the heel ankle area. Can confirm, very, very nice. Molded heel clip combined with the TPU welt provides a secure fit and stability 360 degrees around the foot. I don't know about 360, but I'm definitely feeling a, uh, a nice a nice bit of cushioning support in and around the heel, the midfoot, not so much up the front of the, uh, the foot. I'll be honest, not so much up the front. Uh, premium, premium leather saddle for ultimate style and comfort. The saddle, guys, is providing you next to no, no added comfort, okay? Uh, and then pro foam midsole. The midsole does feel very, very nice. There's a nice bit of cushioning. And then you do have a multi-injection outsole, three separate color injections, provide a pop of color. I mean, we don't need that. And then you have an ENR carbon rubber, pro, carbon rubber? provides traction on any surface, any angle, radial traction technology, strategically placed ridge and bumps. I mean, I mean, that's, oh, I just, I don't like it when brands say that. It's just a rubber outsole with a couple of pimples on it. They don't look all that strategically placed, guys. There's a few linear bits in there as well, but I just, yeah, a hun over 110 lugs with 64. I don't know why that needs to be combined. Basically, in a nutshell, very, very comfortable underfoot. So far, obviously I'm not out on a golf course yet, so I can't give you a full take on whether or not they're grippy, but midsole, cushioning, everything like that, all pretty good at, at this point. So guys, is this a genius move from Puma? To answer that question, I think yes, so. I think this is a very, very good move from Puma. Make a shoe that looks kind of inspired by Premier Series, inspired by inspired by the G4s, the Galavanters, and knock 80 pounds off the price tag 
obviously with taking 80 pounds off of a price tag you have to make some sacrifices so you haven't got a spiked outsole you've just got a spikeless outsole but make it classic styling and make some noise on social media about it and sell a lot of shoes in good numbers which i kind of think that puma are going to do with these shoes i really do think that they're going to sell very well they offer a great deal of comfort they're pretty good styling wise they come in a number of colors i just think that uh, i just think this is going to be a really popular shoe for puma i really really do so far it's one of my favorite shoes that uh, has sort of released this uh, this year because you know we we get we're used to getting a lot of the same stuff and this is just something very very different from a brand who we don't usually see in this space so i'm kind of here for it so let me go over a quick fit check what we're working with today obviously the shoes that we've been speaking about we've got the lululemon commission pant in the beige color big big fan of these had these for a little while and then top underneath we've got reflow bohai polo underneath um, in the green color and then this one here is a uh, is a foot joy todd snyder from the very very first foot joy todd snyder release um this camo is awesome don't get a chance to wear it loads because you kind of have to go with a beige pair of trousers to really rock it anything else it kind of looks a bit funny but uh that's the fit for the rain session today i kind of are you, are you one of these people that likes to turn up at the range full golfer outfit or are you just one to turn up at the range and just wearing just anything that was so bad oh it was so bad yeah let me know down in the comment section down below i like to go full kit larry to uh to the range i just feel like i dress to practice the way i dress to play but i completely get if that's definitely not not everyone's cup of tea better swing they're definitely feeling less and less roomy the more i'm the more i'm wearing them but it does definitely feel like i'm not filling out the whole shoe like when my foot's in this position here i can definitely feel like i've got quite a bit of room down in the bottom there but the rest of the shoe feels like it fits really really nice so it might be something that i'm going to get used to i feel like they're also going to crease a ton where the sizing's just not uh not quite right let's talk comfort as i've sort of already mentioned really nice and comfortable underfoot the midsole is providing a really nice bit of cushioning you can kind of see it in there when i do that it's providing a lot of cushioning i can imagine walking 18 holes in these is going to feel really really nice and i'm kind of looking forward to doing that it might that might happen tomorrow comfort surrounding the foot support again as i sort of mentioned i feel like i've got quite a bit of support in and around the heel i've got quite a bit of support in and around sort of the heel into here into there and that's kind of sort of when it stops which i, I guess is when you would expect it to stop but i feel like that's probably a good thing because yeah i do feel like there's a good bit of support in and around the heel keeping that heel locked in which is which is good which i like grip guys obviously i can't really talk about grip at this point it's going to come in the full review video i am going to do a full review of these shoes because i just think at the price point they're too good a shoe not to do a full review of i just think that these could be the answer to a lot of people's prayers when it comes to cost of living crisis that sort of stuff people don't really have the money to spend as they once used to and they might want that premier series but when it comes to it finances might uh might dictate that they might have to look elsewhere and i think if you're going to look elsewhere and you want a pair of premier series or you want a pair of gallivanters god man these are just an absolute no-brainer if you don't mind a spikeless model so stability guys stability hitting shots in them obviously hit plenty of shots at this point how do they feel stability wise oh that was good pretty good like i don't really feel like the feet are rolling out too much there's there's a little bit of give which you're gonna gonna get from an outsole like this 
it's not going to quite have that really firm outsole that you're used to getting from a pair of Premier Series. I have to draw the comparison with Premier Series because I feel like those shoes are the ones that these are most like. And so you're just not going to get that same level of stability because you haven't got that really firm, really solid sort of outsole that provides all that stability in those foot joy models. So you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit, but they kind of feel like a co chaos. I'm going to throw it out there. They feel a little bit like a co chaos for stability wise. And I always said about the co chaos is there's a decent bit of stability there, but they allow your feet to move as they sort of need to move in the golf swing, which I think is very important. So yeah, I think they're, they're stable enough. And you've got to go back to the price point again, guys. A good amount of stability for 100 quid in a shoe that looks this good. Yeah, I, I'm finding I'm finding it hard to really pick pick fault if I'm honest. Colorways in these shoes, you've got good selection. You've got a really nice selection of colorways, all black. You've got all white. You've got this. Uh, you've got white with a bit of navy on there, which is a, a really smart colorway. And then they're also going into the special editions as well. So uh, they did a pair uh, with the Quiet Golf Club collab in the green. If you want a pair of shoes, guys, to go and get, that's, if I had a spare 100 quid knocking around, I mean, and I mean this, if I had a spare 100 quid knocking around, man, that'd be a, a very, very tempting pair of shoes to go and grab, because that green is sick. That green is going to go with a lot. It's a really, really good looking pair of shoes. So if Puma have... Puma have some good collabs that they do. They've got some good relationships now. Obviously, the Arnold Palmer stuff, Quiet Golf Club. They're progressing. They're only going to do more. And if you're going to get more really good colorways in this shoe, I do just really think that that is just going to go leaps and bounds towards making these shoes the success that uh, I really do think that they are uh, They're going to be for the brand. Do I think that you guys should go out and check these out. Go and try a pair on. Go and see if your local pro shop does them. Yes, I absolutely do think that you should go and check these ones out. Definitely try on a pair because as I say, you might find you're a little bit smaller size-wise to what you would normally be in a Puma shoe. But definitely go and check out these shoes. I don't know if I've, uh, I've done, I don't know if I've seen a pair of shoes for a very long time that have really made me stand up and take note on a number of points, looks, price tag, just there's so many things with this shoe that make it really, really good and make it a shoe that I definitely think everyone needs to check out at some point this year. So guys, if you did enjoy this style of content, me out here hitting balls, giving you my first opinion, a pair of shoes, piece of clothing, whatever it might be. If you did enjoy this sort of first impression style content, do let me know down in the comment section down below. And, and if you're looking for a new pair of trousers this year, there's a video that's going to be somewhere here, there, around there that uh, might help you pick a new pair for this coming summer. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon.